Hey everybody, welcome back. I have another review for you here. I found this knife when I was up in Cabela's recently. It's a little bit different than anything else I have, um, so I bought it. Brought it home, did some research online, couldn't really find any reviews on this knife. And you know, my rule is if I can't find a review, I'll put one up. Yeah, I couldn't really find a whole lot of information about this. So I figured uh, I'd go ahead and put one out there. So this is Cabela's Hunting Series Folder Knife. Uh, this one is available pretty much just in one blade style. There's a fixed blade version of this knife that's got a gut hook blade. Uh, or just this drop point Skinner blade. I really like the blade shape, by the way, just from the outset. Uh, it's it's a pretty good size, pretty good cut. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, though. Uh, MSRP on this from Cabela's is uh, about $40, $39.99. However, I picked mine up for $24.99. I'm pretty sure that you can get this uh, on Cabela's.com for the same price right now, just under $25. And uh, I'm going to say right now, I think it's pretty worth it, but, you know, you can judge for yourself as we go through the review. Comes in your standard blister pack. Uh, nothing too special, but inside you get a nylon sheath because this knife doesn't have a clip. We'll talk about that a little later, but it's a pretty decent sheath. We'll go over the ins and outs of the sheath again, too, but, you know, nice Cabela's embroidery and all that stuff. So you can carry this thing in your pocket. You can carry it uh, in, in another pouch or in the sheath it comes in. You just can't clip it onto anything. It has no clip, which is a problem, but, you know, whatever. The blade length itself is three and five eighths inches and the overall length on this knife is seven and five eighths inches weighs 2.8 ounces so less than three ounces pretty good carry weight if you want something edc style looking at what i really like about this knife um color's pretty cool i like the the blaze orange color on it um you've got scales over liners and lockback design not a huge fan of the lockback as i always say but the scales are good. They're rubberized, so you get really good grip on this. And of course, it's it's a hunter's knife, so it's designed to be out in the woods, uh, fishing, hunting, whatever you're going to do it with. So it needs a really good grip. And these rubber scales really do that. What I really like about it, though, is that because they're scales over liners, if you wanted to, you could take the rubber scales off and replace it with something custom, G10, micarta, carbon fiber, you know, whatever you wanted to. But um, the feel of this is actually pretty good between the texturing here and the, the rubberized coating. Uh, you can get a really good grip on this, and it's it's not going anywhere once it's in your hand. The handle itself, uh, not as large as I would like. Um, I have, I always say, kind of medium-sized hands. So I imagine if you are a very large-handed person, this might be a little hard for you to hold comfortably. But just, you know, the medium hands wraps around it just fine and just a little bit extra over there. The shaping is really nice. The curves uh, kind of contour the hand really well. And the width is just right to get a really good grip. It's got this really nice jimping over here. Uh, on the top of the blade so you can get some good traction there you can choke up on this a little bit if you have to uh, for whatever your activity happens to be hunting field work skinning uh, stuff like that and I, I imagine this would be really really well suited for that I haven't used this at all yet I haven't really done much with it um, I just got it the other day and just uh, spent the time doing the research online the steel for the blade is this Swedish stuff the Sandvik 12c27 I've got no personal experience with this steel so I did some research online and from everything I've read, this is excellent blade steel. Uh, just to give you an idea, this is the steel they typically use in disposable razor blades, so you know that it will hold a really nice sharp edge. Uh, not so sure about the sharpenability, because I haven't done anything like that yet, but out of the box, you can see it, it's got a fairly decent edge on it right there uh, as it comes right out of the package. And we're going to do some basic cut tests in a few minutes. This is supposedly a very good stainless steel, um, low carbon. Um, so, you know, it's not going to corrode on you or anything like that. Very well suited for a knife like this that you expect to take out into the field uh, and possibly get wet and use in a, a rough environment like that. Rockwell hardness, if you're interested, uh, it's uh, 54 to 56. So it compares kind of favorably with stuff like 154 uh, CM or uh, OS 8 or some of those other similar steels. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how that's going to hold up too. The lockup on it, perfect. Uh, no side to side, no up down whatsoever. Um, the action on this knife, one of my complaints, not very well suited for one-handed. Uh, out of the package, you can't at all just flick this out, and even with a flick of the wrist, it's very it's very tight. Um, but that actually has some advantages, too. It does have a very nice uh, snap and, you know, good action in terms of feeling solid. But again, lock back means it's never going to be a one-handed knife um, the way that it opens like this. I, I guess it, as you oil it and work it in, it'll get a little smoother, but... Not the easiest to, to flick open really fast. But then again, this is going to be the kind of thing that you're going to need to get open really fast. I, I don't imagine anybody would carry this as a defensive weapon or anything like that. But again, uh, on the pro side of the, the pros con scale, nice grip, good texture, good feel, good jimping, solid blade design, solid blade steel. Uh, and the weight at less than three ounces, uh, really, really well suited to just carrying around all day. 
again, in a pocket in this pouch. Let's look at the pouch real quick. It's just a standard nylon sheath, uh, nothing groundbreaking or, or too special. It's got a metal snap button on it that's pretty easy. Uh, it doesn't hold very well. You can, you can open this up pretty well. So if you were going to take this camping or something, you might want to be careful to keep this away from the outer side of your body where it could grab on a tree branch or something and come open. Um, for belt loops, you've got your two styles. You've got your vertical carry here. You've got horizontal carry here. So it gives you some flexibility and, uh, except for like a, a pistol belt, you know, equipment type belt or, or, you know, a rigging belt. I can't imagine what belt wouldn't fit in there pretty nicely. So whether you're going to wear it on your belt or just clip it to a backpack or some gear or something, this should do you pretty well. Um, however, you'll notice that because of the rubberized grips, it doesn't slide in and out very nicely. You've got to really wedge it in there, close it up, and then, you know, it doesn't just slide right out either, which can be a good thing as well. But uh, I would like the pouch to be a little bit more user friendly to the no pocket clip. Uh, I'm a pocket carry fan, so I wish this thing did have a pocket clip, and I'm sure it wouldn't be too much trouble to tap the frame over here for screws or something and, and put that in if you wanted, but um, it it is very nice and slim, so if you were just going to slip it into your pocket or something like that, it would work pretty well. One of the drawbacks I could see is if somebody wanted to carry this out in the field tactically, uh, bright orange, not the world's best tactical color, but like I said before, you could easily take these scales off and replace it with anything else you wanted, and I'm sure it would look really good in any color, any pattern. So overall, I think this is a pretty good knife. Um, we're going to do a real quick paper test and then cut some uh, 550 cord with it. This is just standard old paper, and again, this is the blade right out of the package, not sharpened or anything. Uh, pretty sharp right out of the right of the packaging um like that yes this is purple parachute cord please don't ask but i've got to use it for something so and i mean it slices right through this stuff so if you're going to use this as a survival type knife or whatever your outdoor uses are it comes perfectly sharp and i'm sure if you spent just a little bit of time putting a nice mirror shiny razor's edge on this, it would work perfectly for you. Anyway, I'm pretty happy I have this. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna abuse it a little bit. Um, at less than $30, it's a very reasonably priced knife, uh, especially you're getting some supposedly what really good steel, really nice design. Um, you know, Cabela's is willing to put their company name on it and they're, they're pretty reputable with the gear and stuff they sell. So I don't imagine they'd put their name on just a piece of crap that's gonna fall apart on you. I recommend it, I like it. Uh, if I come up with any any notable findings um, as I'm using it, I will definitely do a follow-up. But again, this is just one of my quick mini reviews. The Cabela Hunting Series Folder, Drop Point Skinner Blade in Sandvik 12C27 Steel. Go out and get yourself one. Less than $30, cabelas.com or Cabela's stores. Uh, I think it's a good deal. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to be back again really soon. I'm going to be announcing the winner of the giveaway contest for the Kershaw 1 Ton. Have some really cool new Benchmades to show off. Uh, a new Strider and, and some other stuff. So there'll be some more videos coming soon. Um, also have some a lot of great custom work that I've been doing. Um, got some C Tech on the way to play with that and see how that works out. And the guys who own the company, when I told them I was doing some custom knife stuff uh, for some of my troops and everything, they actually said they were going to send me a sample of some other stuff. So uh, I'm actually going to use those samples to uh, number one give them some good press because that's pretty cool of them to do. And number two. Um, possibly thinking about doing a giveaway with some of the sample materials also because I like doing that stuff and uh, I've got the little woman in the house that says I've got way too many knives as is so if I want to add some more I gotta get rid of some so that works out well for everybody so anyway thanks for watching everybody uh, please stay tuned for more videos and I'll see y'all soon